I'm gonna hashtag save Christina. <laughs> well, I mean, I think you should click the link below and save me. <laughs> okay. That's number one, guys. Um, Silvana, we're starting. You can stop Snapchatting your feels. Excuse me? <laughs> He's the one person that interacts with us. He's the only person that's a fan of Decently Weird. Is there anybody yelling? Yeah, it's outside. That's fucking creepy. And Snapchat! Snapchat? Oh yeah, Snapchat! Oh yeah, Snapchat! Oh. Bang, 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 bang. Come I was on. I was on the way home, and my radio was on, which is normally not on. And that's creepy. I turned on my car. No, it wasn't just on. Oh. <laughs> it's. Uh, however, I normally don't listen to the radio. And as I was driving out of uh, the, my work building, uh, Power ninety six has a commercial where he's talking about how awesome he is in his gold chain. I said it with his Q and link, and I was like, guy. Who is this Pitbull? <laughs> no, it was the DJ. Of our it, was, it was the DJ. Oh, or the what DJ Laz the pimp with a limp. No, no, no. What what are they called when they don't actually DJ? DJs. He's a radio host. No, he's not. A radio Personality. Host. That one. Sure. All right, and with that question, we're gonna open up the podcast. Hi guys, this is the Tastefully Weird Podcast. I'm Ellie. I'm Silvana. And I'm Christina. So the first thing we're going to start off is with, uh, uh, let's do a <laughs> cheers, guys. Cheers! We haven't done that in a while. Okay. The last time we did it, was it just the three of us? No. It was the all cheers. of us. You huh? mean last podcast? Was... I don't think that we cheers with everyone. Oh, no, we don't. No, On no, the no. podcast. No, no, it's just been because us three Because sometimes we don't always, we don't always have beer, guys. We're not alcoholics. Yeah. We are. Help me. It helps. Ooh. I can't. I'm sorry. I'll stop. I swear. Ooh. It, it helps to have beer. Huh? It helps to have beer. It does. It so loosens up the mystery. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll get to what they're doing in a little bit. But let's start off with um, some really cool announcements from Comic-Con. I have major FOMO from Comic-Con. I know. Oh, my goodness. This is what the fucking seventh year that I've wanted to go. So I think we should endeavor and go next year. We will, okay? We, we've been trying. Uh-huh. No, but next year we're gonna have media passes. Yeah, hopefully we'll we'll, yeah. we'll get in some way next year. Okay. I really wanna go. We've been trying to get in and every year we make it into the the what the is waiting it called? Room. The waiting room and then we don't get fucking chosen. Um what you can um you know ha- do it illegally, get in there, like learn to hack in a year. And hack into their system. That's how we'll get it. How does one learn to hack in a year? <laughs> I don't know. I really want to go though. I'm like so annoyed that we should. We should really become bigger and, and get media passes though. Oh, if only. If you guys think that we should go to Comic Con next Please, year, uh, click the link below. Click the link below. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you think we should go, just you know, give us a good rating on our. Uh, and I, subscribe. I see, you guys, I see you guys giving ratings. I see it. Subscribe to us on our YouTube though. We need like a lot of followers so we can get to that you know status and we can bring you great content yeah you know we're even more great content even more yeah we're probably gonna go through a, a bit of a revival pretty soon uh, of our a, YouTube fucking channel. a renaissance tastefully a rena- weird yeah. renaissance tastefully yeah. weird is a renaissance period yeah our YouTube channel is uh there probably gonna so relaunch. if you guys can subscribe to it that would be great Tastefully weird on YouTube. That's all Tastefully, it is. What, what yeah. would it be? What would it be, Ellie? Great. It would be real great. That would be great. Yeah. If you can have those reports. You know what day. would be great? If you would click the link below and subscribe. <laughs> God, Christian. Um, so, not, yeah. I'm, so, I'm not stop killing me. So, smalls. Netflix. Let's start off with Netflix announcements. <laughs> since, uh, I think those are the only ones I really give a shit about. <laughs> well, no, you care about Marvel. Exactly. Netflix. <laughs> 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 fair. That's fair. Uh, so I don't know. Did you see any of the trailers for anything? Um, I I'm saw. Pretty sure you did. Yes, I did. I saw um the fucking Justice League. Mm-hmm. That one. Uh, I saw. Did you see the Wonder Woman one? No. That one. Okay. I'm not interested in Wonder Woman. We're see, the so- thing is, is that I'm not interested in Wonder Woman either. Mm-hmm. But and I really severely dislike her casting. 
Wow. However, it was good. The movie itself looks so so good, and it's not um, the director of Batman or Superman for that Zack matter. Zack Snyder. Yeah, it's not him. What about writers? Because no, it's not necessarily the the director's fault that a movie's bad. No, no, no. It's, Zack Snyder did write it too. Oh. Well, that I don't like his aesthetic. I hate okay. his aesthetic. It's I like three hundred. Really, that's about it. Yeah, but then he also did Superman and Batman, and I mm-hmm. detest both of those, and I detested 300. I liked so. Sucker Punch, though. I know pe- I'm going to get a lot of hate for that. I did not like I wrote a really bad review for that in college. Really? In one of my classes, yeah. It's a history it's kind of, film. of a terrible movie. I don't know why. I thought it was just so much fun. I mean, it has a lot of good elements, the but... The costumes were good. The makeup was yeah. fucking Hair, great. Hair, makeup. The acting um, wasn't bad either, but... Yeah. There was something that it was lacking, and I could never get past it. Um, and Oscar Isaac's in it, so we know him. Is fan. he? Yeah, he's the bad guy. I forgot about that. Really? I don't like Vanessa Ann Hudgens and sings whatsoever. In it. Vanessa Ann. I don't like Vanessa Ann Hudgens whatsoever, and I don't. Jamie Chung, I believe is her name. Oh, Jamie I Chung. like her a little. Like I, she annoys me because she used to be in the real world, and I loved her in the real she world. Was in San the real Diego. World? She was in real world San Diego. Really? And I fucking loved her in that. And, and then I feel like she sold out by becoming an of actress. She like, oh, that's why you went on that, bitch. Sorry. Yeah, that's exactly why they go on those things. I feel like I'd be friends with her, though. Same thing with Olivia Munn. Maybe. Uh, I think Olivia Munn would annoy me. No, she, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. I couldn't get through that podcast. Really? Yeah. That was the first thing I could sit through with her. I would rather her be Cyclops. Not Cyclops. 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 Female Cyclops. Cyclops. I'd rather her be a male character. <laughs> you mean it's pretty much silent the whole movie? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but so she looks really nice in it. She, you know, she looked mom. great in that movie. She, she looked she, it. Hot damn. But we've already discussed that. Yeah, movie. we have discussed that. So uh, let's talk about length. season two of Jessica Jones being renewed. Yes! Uh, Luke Cage season one. They, we already knew that it was renewed. No. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, they, like, super announced it. They officially... Do you know when they release? Uh, because the thing is, they hadn't they hadn't officially said season three of Daredevil yet. And they said it in, in Comic-Con. Really? Yeah. Good. I could have sworn it was... If, if I mean, it maybe were, I'm wrong, but that's the no, reports I, I read. I could have sworn it wasn't, but I mean... The rep- do you know when it, it releases? Or they haven't filmed at all? I don't know if they've started filming. Well, in any case, I fucking love Jessica Jones, and I fucking excited about because that Because I shit. think they're filming so right now for The Defenders, which is the other big oh. announcement out of Comic-Con for the for the shows, which is going to be Luke Cage, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Iron Fist, I believe, and maybe some of The Punisher, because they weren't going to include The Punisher in The Defenders, but people loved him so much. Wait, so I'm sorry, repeat that? It's going to be... Uh, Iron Fist is a, is another character that's part of the Defenders in the comic books. He's so it's there's the, he's been alluded to in Jessica Jones a lot, like pretty heavily. Same Thanks with, for ruining it. Just kidding. <laughs> same with uh, if you haven't already watched no, it, we have other know. issues. I, I no. Same I with uh, Daredevil. Um, they he's they like there's like little Easter eggs of him. Yeah. Um, they they do that with a lot of the stuff though. A lot of like even the Avengers and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, are they are they uh, the defenders of you know the twelve blocks that yeah. is Hell's Kitchen? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so yeah. they micromanage Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, I'm not a real big defenders fan, so I can't. But really it's it, you said let it was, you know about that, but I can it. I I know for a fact it's Luke Cage, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Iron Fist. I, am I calling him the right name? Wow, I'm probably not. These even. are all shows, which is good, which have been strong. wait. So they yeah, yeah they had yeah. a trailer for Iron Fist. Yeah, yeah, he has a yeah. so Iron Fist has his own show now. Yeah. Who did they cast? Uh, that's a good question. Fucking Finn Jones is Iron Fist, and my fucking heart just came out of my asshole. He's uh, Marjorie's brother in oh. Game of Thrones. Really? Yeah. Oh, awesome. That's why they killed them all. So watch it. It's so good. I'll it's watch so it. Good. I mean, the thing is, I didn't know much about Jessica Jones. So I was like, you know, not you as interested. But I love David Tennant so, so, so much. So, yeah. He's really good in the role. I'm not gonna lie. I oh my god, David Tennant is such a great actor, he's, though. He's fantastic. I, I don't care from one way or the other because I'm not a particularly large Doctor Who fan. He's the best Doctor. Do you, have you ever seen Doctor Who? I've tried to and I couldn't get through that it. Season, you need to see David Tennant. I, try, I that tried season, Doctor Who, That period. season, let's, maybe we should have, like, yeah. a little. Because I think that if you watch 
episodes of that, I think you're generally going to be interested because he's okay. he's a he's just great. Like yeah. he's fun, and yeah, just watch that okay. season at least. But, well, you watch well, Jessica Jones. I'll watch Doctor Who. Okay, okay. I, I I agree to that. Yeah, I got a cold has been struck. <laughs> I I saw the trailer. Now that I'm looking at it again, it is him. Because the thing is, in the trailer, he's literally bearded and grizzled and dirty, and um, you it's it's literally just him punching a wall. It's just oh, a it? trailer, but it's his face. But I couldn't quite. I, this might unhook everything. Oh my god, there is audio that shouldn't be coming out of this, and then Come it's on. his face. Oh, I yeah, but, yeah, he looks very different. He looks so different. So I different. I couldn't even tell it was him until I just saw it right now. Now I see it's him, but. I guess yeah. they uh, they took his uh, his bearded form from Game of Thrones and just kind of plopped him into this world. But I couldn't even tell it was him. He was barely in season six, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel so bad for him Why? in the show because well, they he did. Well, we, we got to talk a little bit about Game of Thrones, but not now. But like later on, and I'll explain why I feel really I mean, bad for him. Well, he had to go through a lot of humiliation. Yeah, but like they build up all of this stuff and then they just who cares mm-hmm. you know uh but now i see why they uh, they had to kill him off um pobrecito anyway so yeah so it's gonna be iron fist luke cage daredevil jessica jones in the defenders plus the punisher because people really like the punisher and i think he's getting his own show i think that that was announced too hmm. I'm, yeah he was he think was so? there alone like why would why else would he have been there if he wasn't doing something you know right but um yeah there was a uh, a lot of show announcements and movie announcements for marvel as well uh yeah we got um miss marvel we got mantis wait psh. so we many. got mantis for guardians of the galaxy <laughs> i'm really excited about two captain marvel thank you it's, marvel. it's captain marvel thank you very much it? Yeah. uh so <laughs> anyway so yeah, yeah. Netflix orders Marvel. What Marvel's you, the Punisher two series, so it is going to be a series. So that was also included in Comic Con. I, yes. I forgot about that. In Marvel Universe, we got a first look at the Guardians. For I thought they were already filming the second Guardians. They of the just Galaxy. finished it. They just. I already knew there was a second one coming out. No, no, but they like released. There's a new character called Mantis. Oh. So they talked. They showed an image of the entire team. Wow, that is a loud motorcycle. But they showed the entire team. Kurt Russell's in it. Uh, oh, big whoop. Oh, listen, leave him alone, okay? Uh, everybody's back. There's also another one that's Kismet, which is, uh, that's new. And, yeah, there's just a couple of new faces. So that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> I am. Ravengers, just... that's what they're called. Who? The Ravengers. Oh, you got okay. to see their costumes. Well, I guess, yeah, I'm excited for, I, I really liked the first one, so I'm excited for the second one, and I don't know, I just, I read an article on Variety uh, yesterday <clears throat> talking about how the box office this summer has been kind of a bust. I mean, there's just been so, like what we've talked about in several other episodes of the podcast, there's just been so many uh, revamps of movies and sequels, yeah. and they just haven't lived up to the hype. Right now, the forerunner of everything is Disney. They're doing great. Everything they come out with is a hit. So they're doing well, but all the other studios are having a really rough time with getting, like, especially millennials out to movies, because we used to watch movies a lot more, but now yeah. we don't, because mm-hmm. we're just not interested. It's not, like, original content, and we're getting a lot of that in shows and we're not getting it in movies and yeah sure there'll be a superhero movie out but i mean not all of them are that great so that's what would happen with superman so we lose faith and so they oh, haven't been actually going exactly so we they've they're uh kind of having trouble dealing with that right now and they're like freaking out a little bit because um they're not getting the investments that they want for future projects because they're investing it in other shit like virtual reality or games or because, you know, Pokemon Go has been so popular too um, or, you know, shows. So, yeah, um, they're having a lot of trouble with that. So they're, they try to create a lot of hype during Comic-Con for a lot of these things that are coming out. But is it going to do the trick? We'll see. I mean, for Star Wars, yes. Because Star <laughs> yeah. Wars does a great job at, like, 
um, just creating original content in their stories. Like, yeah, maybe it's the same plot in a way, but it'll just, you know, yeah, like you're exposing on the, you're, a stormtrooper and stuff like that. Like, that's what they talk about. You're on a ride this time with all new characters. Exactly. Just like, it's still an original story. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's something, even if we've seen the story more or less, we haven't seen these characters go through it. So people are inherently going to be interested in that. Exactly. So it's not like, you know, ghost It's not. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Sorry. following on with your story, but the, the reason that they're not doing that anymore for us is because of the way the markets turned from like there was another article in variety i think a few months back that it was talking about how the market itself for movies has completely changed like before i think it was at a like a 20 80 so it was like 80 percent u.s sales was most what most movies made and 20 percent was what they made in overseas Mm -hmm. and now it's sort of flipped where it's like 40 60 or 70 30 something like that where it's 70 percent made overseas and 30 percent made uh domestically like the chinese market like china just opened up a bunch of fucking theaters and so did russia and like all these big countries that consume media so they're now in investing in in theaters which they weren't before so that's why shit's the way it is yeah but everybody knows that when america does something it's cool all around the world because americans (laughs) do it yeah but like think about it like our humor is so vastly different than like yeah it is someone in the east you know so Mm -hmm. british humor even british humor is different yeah yeah Yeah. but we understand british humor more than you know we understand (laughs) british humor more sorry to say but more than they understand american oh yeah absolutely because like they'll watch i don't know something like tim and eric i've mentioned it in the previous podcast but yeah they'll watch something like that and they'll think it's fucking weird like they'll be like this is funny to you but yeah 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 the so yeah basically like our humor isn't globally accepted so it wouldn't very it wouldn't do as well as if they were to come out with things they know bring in money because people haven't seen like robocop you know in china like they're seeing it now for the first time so they already just you know they're using big names and and getting money off of it so that's why they keep doing reboots and stuff and that's why we're bored as fuck going to the movie theaters um which sucks, because I want movies made for me. Which is why Ex Machina was one of the best movies ever mm-hmm. <laughs> in the last, like, year and a half. Um, but, yeah, I saw that the, the Variety is doing a pretty good job at covering that. They are. Um, They're having... Shout out to Variety. Please hire shout us. Out. <laughs> Please give us money. Can and, we be and, a guest? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's basically why they're doing that. And they know people read comics all around the world. So that's why they're investing in comics and stuff. Yeah, they try to attract fanboys, as they say. Right. Uh Captain Marvel was announced as Brie Larson. Captain Marvel. Like you think she's going to cut her hair? Power. Huh? Do you think she's going to cut her hair? Well, why would she have to? In the new comic, she has like this little... Mohawk thing? Yes. I, I don't know if they'll do that, but... Cap- I mean, Captain so Marvel hot. was Miss Marvel. And they, she had long blonde hair, and she had long blonde hair, hair for a while. They uh, red. They dyed her hair red. She's blonde. They dyed her hair red. For, I don't know for what role, but she's Who, a Brie Larson? Yeah. She's right now? Head right now. She's probably not filming it. It's yeah, not she's not filming it. Oh. It's not out for like another two years. Well, she's definitely not filming, filming it now. Yeah. No, they're not filming now. Um, oh. They should, though. I need that movie right now. Um, but I like that casting. I was going to be, like I said to you guys, I was going to be pissed if it was fucking Emily Blunt. <laughs> yes. Which, uh, why? I'm just, I'm just, I, I, I love you, Emily Blunt but stop making movies for a little bit. Like, you need a break. Bro. Yeah, but that's, I think, here's the thing. They, that also talked about in that Variety article is that they fucking re-fucking use and recycle a lot of the same actors because, oh, there there's hype around this pu- fucking person. Well, like, that's Ex Machina. They didn't use known actors, really. Right. And it was great. I mean, it appealed yeah, to us. Yeah, but it didn't, it wasn't marketed to the mass audiences but it's just such it's like oh she won an oscar so like, i love brie larson i fucking adore her but come on you guys just oh it's because she won a fucking oscar that's it like come on no yeah. i mean but i i i see it as she has the body for it which i hate saying like it's gonna oh, that it's woman obviously doesn't gonna have, have the to body be someone for it. young yes but no but captain marvel's kind of you know she's built a little bit so like she needs to work out. She needs, she needs, and she's tall. Captain Marvel's also very tall. Like, Captain Marvel's from, like, has army roots. So she's, you know, she's not fucking 
whoever they picked for Wonder Woman, which, dear God. Fucking A in. model, basically. <laughs> yeah. She was also in the army, which pisses me off. She because was? Yes. Uh, in wherever the crap she's World from. War is, is, uh, Israel. That one. She's from the Israeli army? Yes. She was in the army, and then she left. Uh, when she left the army, she became a model. And how the fuck do you not get buff for Wonder Woman? I'm sorry I'm yelling, but it still pisses me off. Because she probably can get buff. She has There's a body. There's no way that she's she really can not get buff. She's lean as fuck. She... Eat a little bit more. No, no, no. I don't think. No, I, I, I don't think if you're like, okay, you have to be lean, you have a model's I, I, body. I wouldn't be able to do it because I, I. I just, I just, I'm looking at it as like I just don't believe that she can like. She I, looks that's, like too frail. To but be that's able the to thing that upsets task. me is that I. But I and I dislike that I like this trailer, and that it actually looks really good because I hate her casting. Right. But she's supposed to. Wonder Woman's supposed to be like fucking Amazonian. Woman. Exactly. So she's, supposed she's supposed to be, to be huge. She's but supposed to be huge. She's supposed to be built. She's supposed to be able to crush my head like a sparrow's yeah. egg in between her thighs. But like, I'm giving her like I fucking hated her in Batman. But I'm I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt because that movie was just. It was terrible it was all around. It wasn't just work. Like what's the original? You, I'm sorry. Superwoman. Linda. What? Linda, it's not super oh, no, woman. woman, Wonder Woman. Sorry, Linda Carter. Carter. Yeah, she was pretty like buff and big, but she like, didn't even work out that much. But she just no, no, no. But she had a different body, body entirely yeah. than her. Mm-hmm. It looks it it looks really good. I'm really afraid that the trailer's going is is fantastic and selling it, and the movie's gonna be crap. I'm so afraid of it because. It actually looks. This is the World War One one, or no, no, no. This is Wonder Woman. This is just her movie. Yeah, but what's this war they're fighting? Oh, I have no idea. I think that's World War One. I'm just, I'm so afraid that it's gonna be so bad. So afraid. Cause I'm. Cause I don't know. Feed into the myth that women can't sell movies. Speaking of DC, since we went into DC, um, the uh, the the Justice League move trailer. Thing. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm um, okay with it. I'm sorry. Why are they so depressed again? Well, I mean, they're trying to add humor to all of their movies, which I don't know that I'm... Because they're trying to do what, what Marvel exactly. does. They're trying... Exactly. But that's exactly it. They're trying to copy a formula that because I don't guess think what? can be copied. The formula that they have right now is not good. Well, it's never been good, though. It's fucking It's horrible. good when they do cartoons, and that's about it. Yo, they, I, I don't understand why they're so opposed to making an animated, like a 3D animated Justice League movie. I would be it would, so It would probably cost less. Dude, honestly, I saw a trailer for, I forgot what, what game it was, and it was all of them kicking fucking ass. And I was like, they should do this. As, this would make more money. It, not only would it not make more that, money, it would, it would be, be better. better. It would be better. It would it, look better. They could although, do what they want to do. Hold on. Can't. Although, I will say, the, 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 t- the part with, uh, what the hell, the, Arthur Curry. I can only remember his, his Arthur Curry at the moment. Aquaman. Mm-hmm. That, when he goes Al into Drogo. the water, when he goes into the water and it splashes him from both sides, that is some cinematic shit. That yeah. is some beautiful shit. Right. No, but yeah. not everybody I, thinks like you, Christina. Oh, no, no, I agree. I understand this. Like, like, um, I understand instance, this, but like, it looks If you're going to compare the two formulas... When Superman is flying to Lois Lane, I was fucking cracking up because it looks so cheesy. Because <laughs> it does. Thor is flying, I buy it. I'm like, I buy that fucker flying, but I don't f- buy fucking Superman flying. Mm-hmm. Well, it's also how much you spend on the green screen and the the company you use and like. No, they spend a lot of money on those movies. Like they're not. Little, no, no, no. I understand this. Much. I understand this, but is does Marvel spend more? But to me, if but, you spend that much more, you're gonna get I think that much better. Marvel has less less cheesy characters because they're a little bit newer than than dc dc they're like older characters so like mm. some ma- like superman's in the 30s like it's a little bit more corny no the difference between the two honestly you can is modernize him. the okay this is the difference between the two superheroes the two dc and marvel marvel is more based in reality it's more human beings being something or being better than whatever. Yeah, like in DC, all of the characters, maybe besides Batman, are based off of gods. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. So you're 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 so you're dealing with godlike fucking powers that are gonna look cheesy on green screen. Sorry to say, DC fans, I'm sorry. Versus things that are like I'm based in reality and I can punch really hard. 
You Batman's know? cool to me. I think it's just Superman for me, I guess. See, I, I, see the Batman, like, the, the new Batman suit was fucking cheesy to me. It's ridiculous. How do you even, how do you do anything? No, but that's from the comics. I thought it looked No, cool. I know, but it, I don't believe that he could do anything in it. The iron one? or The the, 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 the iron one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty but stupid. But did you, you, since you I did. I know what you're saying. It looks better in animated form. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. They should just do, they should just stick to it because you saw like, You saw the, the Wonder Woman trailer, correct? Mm-hmm. The, her golden rope, that actually looks pretty good. Yeah, but the thing is, if there's an animated character, this is, again, goes to Hollywood because they're, they're like, okay, let's have an actor. Because then an actor Brings will be a books. character and they'll be, the kids are going to be like, oh my god, and they can make little action figures of that, that particular character. They can recast and have another guy do it. Like, and they're just going to have it's people cheaper. like, ooh, I want to go, like, uh, kids dying in the fucking hospital. I want Chris Pratt to come visit me. Um, because he's super, uh, whatever. I, mean, I want Ben Affleck to come uh, visit me because he's Batman. Mm-hmm. You know? It's just shit like that. I, I know, but they, they... want physical people to play. I don't think that they have the the scale to do it like Marvel does it. Not no. that Not that Marvel's any better with turning I, out their shit because they turn honestly, it out, but... Are they different, the main, like, movie houses? And yeah. Stuff? Yeah. Okay. The, the, main, the main issue with Disney. Marvel... Movie House and DC Movie House is Marvel has had time. Oh, and they to perfected it. it. They 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 gave fucking uh, what's his name? I was about to call him Judd Apatow. It's not Judd Apatow. What's his fucking name? John Favreau. John Favreau. Yeah. They gave John Favreau a fucking chance. They were like, "There's no chance in hell this movie's gonna make any fucking money," and they let that guy, they let that fucker play with that movie. If you can tell, that movie's oh, not yeah, a producer yeah. movie. It's a total no, director no, no. movie. So they had a bunch of fun on that movie, and look at it. It's still one of the most successful ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but so, that's because that that, that's, that's before ago. that's before they were actually trying to make superhero movie after superhero movie right. after you know what superhero movie. Right. That movie really? was actually eight years ago. Yeah, it's almost ten years already, and it's still fucking like. So yeah. they've had eight years of perfecting their cinematic universe. They've had, eight years, two two years. <laughs> They've had eight years of perfecting it. They've had eight years of perfecting their green screen, of upgrading their green screen. Because if you go back and look at that movie, the green screen is pretty good, but it's not great. Right. Well, because it's, they didn't have a lot of money. Well, that and it was also eight years ago. Yeah. And like, they, they things, have, things have yeah, progressed you, since then. They look at the have... green screen of, like, Lord of the Rings. I thought it was pretty fucking good. Yeah, that's true. And that was a long <laughs> fucking time ago. Look at it's the still g- pretty good. I, yeah. I but but they also do what Star Wars uh, Force Awakens Star Wars did, is good too. Which is green screen and um real. Real because when you see the Hobbit, holy shit is it bad. I didn't like the yeah, Hobbit. Yeah, look at Wolverine, screen. the one uh the, oh, the individual Christ. movie for Wolverine. That one was bad. But Lord, oh, that was Jesus. terrible. And that was made after all those. Mm-hmm. It I think it has something to do with who's directing it and what direction the they're choosing. Uh, well, yeah, budget plays into everything. Especially when making something on such a grand scale. Budget plays into everything because you have to pay your actors. And uh, actors like Robert Downey Jr., who was the highest paid actor on the Avengers. Yeah, because when they did his contract, they didn't negotiate. Because they thought seriously was just going to be this movie. But the but other so thing was I was going to say about um, Marvel versus DC. DC movies, since they're trying to catch up with Marvel are very producer based you could tell they're very rushed they're very rushed they have a shit ton of crap filled into them to yep. build you up for the next thing so that you realize that it's a part of a universe as opposed to just taking time with the characters and in marvel's case like yes avengers 2 well, was a we fucking shit anything. show to me avengers 2 was a fucking shit show and the reason why it was was because they didn't let this guy do what he wanted to do they wanted to fill in a bunch of shit for mm-hmm. for the infinity wars that's why it fucking failed. I'm sorry. Uh, a little bit of a, a side story. Have you seen the cast list for that? They're using the people from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the TV show, on that movie. Yeah. That's I didn't realize that. Yeah. I didn't realize that until I saw the cast. And the cast is gigantic. The reason why was because they were going to have an gigantic. Inhumans movie. That's why yeah. they're building up the Inhumans. But then they have put that on the back burner. It's not, it doesn't even have a fucking release date anymore. Well, they're also... So they now they're kind of like shooing them in to kind of fill in that... They've gap. also already started the... I haven't yet finished season three. But they have Inhumans on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So... Yeah. No, no, it's the yeah. easy... Those people are fucking thanking their lucky stars now because yeah. now they're in the fucking the marvel cinematic universe yeah but it's more but, than just the tv show But like if you notice like in the marvel movies the ones that are the most successful and the best ones are the ones where they just leave the director alone with yeah, the fucking writer of course. like like fucking Gar- to me guardians of the galaxy is one of the best ones 
I, oh, I still, it's if it's gold. not, I bought it on DVD. That's how much I fucking love it's, it. It's, I like I Deadpool don't. too. My mom bought the CD Deadpool's from not it. not really D- uh, oh. Marvel. Deadpool is uh, Fox. Oh. My mom bought the CD from Guardians of the Galaxy because she liked it so much. The CD. Yeah, I'm telling you, if you buy it on DVD, that means you love they it. They have like the right amount of funny. It's believable because they're like, some of them are comedians. I don't but know. But that's what, that's what DC is trying to capture now. And I'm... I'm kind of sad that they went back in for Suicide Squad because that's what they were trying to put in. And I'm afraid that they killed it. So, have you seen Suicide Squad? Has it come out? No, it comes, no, out, it comes out next week. Okay. Um, and we're also, that was a Thursday. new trailer. We got a new trailer for that, too. We got to watch. We're, we're going to go see that on Thursday. Yeah, we're going to do a review on that one. Will Smith? <laughs> I'm, like, not excited I don't, I don't, for it. I don't like his casting, but I like, I like Margot Robbie. I think her in character looks good. I'm still very anti their costumes. I fucking yeah. hate all mm-hmm. of their costumes. Well, except except Katana. Katana, look, Katana. Okay. Except Katana because she looks the only one that looks like her character. Katana looks really, really good. Um, have you seen... There is a specific um, teaser that I watched. It's the only teaser I've watched because I tried to stay away from everything else because they spoil everything in trailers now. Um, of... I don't know what her name is. Of Enchantress... Enchantress becoming enchantress yeah they've shown that like in okay. all of the trailers that looks badass yeah. i'm not even gonna no 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 don't talk shit she has her hand on the table enchantress comes up and grabs her hand like they're gonna they're gonna link hands and twist it and she's enchantress look at it really closely yeah. it looks you know hey <laughs> i'm just not excited for that movie i'm sorry I, i'm it's not that i'm excited for it is that if it's good it'll be good for them what i'm i i was actually not excited for uh jared leto Ugh. but i saw like a preview that he had on conan with uh margot robbie yeah and i liked it i was like my favorite thing about their panel and, and also now that i know that it's you know um like a different like a different take on joker that's so uh. I, I can't I, I, no, I was about to say it. a spoiler and I was like yeah please don't uh it, it, I'm okay with it my it's, favorite my favorite thing about their San Diego panel was he Jared Leto was talking and Viola Davis was sitting next to him and the second he opened his mouth her eyes like grew the size of her face and like he's gonna catch an elbow one day from her and I can't wait what did he say I have no idea I've only seen the gifts I'm I, I I'm literally staying away from the panel even I want to know nothing about this the movie I know that it's Suicide Squad. I know what Suicide Squad is. I want to stay away from it all. Mm. I'm going to look that up later. But yeah, I'm just... I'm just Her eyes grew like... The, the, they were the size what, of saucers. Like breath stunk or something? No, he was saying... He was talking about something. It was a panel. It was through the panel. But I, her, her eyes are literally this big as he's talking. And it's it's the best thing. I'm, I swear. Because he's the, she's the only one that didn't get any... Didn't get any like dead rats or roses with maggots or some shit from him she's the only one that he didn't touch right in that entire cast so um he's gonna catch an elbow one day so yeah there was a lot of superhero stuff a obviously lot. at comic-con there was a lot of superhero stuff uh so let's move on to i know this is lesser known but sci-fi window. stuff sci-fi sci-fi stuff was announced we saw the trailer for the expanse season two which i'm more excited about than anything in the world <laughs> Um, are you are you really uh, are you <laughs> yeah we're gonna be covering that when it comes back in january so expect that we're also gonna come covering winona earp i guess if it whatever. kills me i guess have not. you started it yet no have you started the expanse no okay well then fuck actually you. technically i have so fuck you fuck you <laughs> we watched it together actually i've seen episode two which we hadn't watched together i think uh everybody should watch the expanse it's a great show so is Winona Earp. Uh, and yeah, I'll I'll be watching Earp. that. So there was like, uh, there was there anything else really? With Some Disney content? stuff. Yeah, Disney stuff. But the thing is, they had. Uh, Don't they have their own convention? Yeah. The thing was okay. Now again, uh, the good reference, the fucking variety article. Uh, <laughs> look, uh, Alice through the Looking Glass didn't do so well. So now Hold apparently on. Johnny Depp. Is not going to be getting a lot of roles now, like because that did kind of bad. So well, now he's not going to be getting as many. Well, not the only, last few not only did it do badly, bad. yeah, his last couple movies have done badly. He had a large, large scandal, and oh, yeah, it was true. kind of terrible. 
I, I watched it. it. My niece really wanted to go see it, That's and what I we were supposed to watch uh, the preview for, but yeah. the line was too long. I my niece wanted to watch it, so I took her, and I sat there the entire time wondering to myself what I did to deserve this. It's a terrible movie. The first but why one was wasn't that great either? But he is, and it his controversy came out right before that did. Oh, but that has nothing to do with the movie. The movie. No, no, no. I'm shit. not saying the movie oh, did. Okay. I'm saying that it probably didn't help. Um, I mean, I'm, a movie's not a piece of shit. Excuse me, Disney. It's a great movie that I loved no, very it's, much. It's, just that like one was just mm. just like the uh, the the one that he's an Indian in it. What is it called? Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I forgot what it's called. Tonto. Yeah. <laughs> he plays Tonto, but what's I the know, name but of the movie? I know, but I don't. Remember. I know he plays Tonto. Let's, let's forget that. Which one. I also didn't watch. <laughs> The Lone Ranger. That the movie Lone was Ranger. great, too, guys. We, we are doing really well today with remembering things. I know. We're, like, so out of it. We I don't guess. need any sleep at all. We don't depend all. on Google for anything. <laughs> what else ha- came out of we Disney? We don't fact check. Oh, the also at Disney, they released a teaser for Moana. Oh, oh yeah. That looks yeah. cute as hell. I'm that so excited so for that good. movie. The Rock for President. I love The Rock so much. But Disney just doesn't fail us that much. Yeah, I mean they're they're they weren't gonna say a lot anyway. Oh, the Guardians of the Galaxy ride was officially announced at Comic Con. Oh yeah, that. that's right. For fucking, they're gonna replace Tower of Terror with the Guardians of the Galaxy in Disneyland. But I like it because Not in the, Disney World. The reason I'm scared of Tower of Terror is because it's scary. So I think I'll go on this one. I'm excited because then I won't be scared. Now I'm going. I'll be like, woo! What, what, what is the Tower of Terror? What is this Tower of Terror? Terrific. <laughs> um, it's terrific. I need a really piece. But yeah, there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take uh, a quick bathroom Why do you have break, to say that? <laughs> and uh, we'll be right back do with uh, another topic. Uh, we can talk about awesome. other things besides Comic Con because there's just so much we can talk about. Should we, should we get back into it? Because we can keep yelling. Oh, we can keep yelling at each other. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna we're gonna go with what's been going on in the internets and YouTube as we you know we are YouTubers here. Subscribe to our channel, oh, so uh, nice. YouTube.com/slash Tastefully Weird. We do uh, have a channel. So we are YouTubers, and there's a lot of controversy happening right now on youtube which as uh, one youtuber named philip defranco puts it is unprecedented in in terms of how big the story has gotten which is 100 percent true i've never seen yeah. anything um like this ever on youtube you spend a lot of time on youtube do i a lot of it i do i love youtube i love YouTube, you youtube more than you always know the drama happening on <laughs> youtube and stuff i'm not like i'm a little bit newer to it i don't know why but i never really got into it i would like my brother would show me a little bit of Philip DeFranco sometimes, and but um, I didn't really get it into YouTube until my ASMR days, to be honest. So I just I love YouTube. I've I've watched more YouTube than anything. Anything. I I even while I'm like in my car, like I won't be watching the video obviously, but I'll have like the YouTube video playing on the side. I'm not kidding. I listen to it through the the thing because it, it pisses me off that it's on Bluetooth and it's delayed, so I can't watch the video. I just kind of. So YouTube or Pokemon Go? I actually YouTube more than Pokemon Go. Wow. <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I have Pokemon Go. Um, but anyway, so the the controversy that's been happening, if you guys are on the internet at all or on Twitter, has been around this girl named Marina Joyce, and uh, there was a hashtag called Save Marina Joyce going around on Twitters, and it's been pretty much the number one tweeted thing. Uh, worldwide for two days uh, or a day and a half or so which again is weird in in and of itself that something's tweeting that high up in the rankings for so long on twitter because it's usually like a couple hours and then it goes away yeah um so basically what happened with this girl if you are not caught up to speed on uh, everything that's going on is that this girl has had videos um She's been on YouTube for a couple of years and she's been, you know, posting things. And uh, about eight months ago or so, uh, her video, like her personality and her video style and just everything sort of completely changed to the point where it seems like it's a completely different person. Obviously, it's still the same her, but it's like a different she has a different personality, a different demeanor, a different way of speaking. 
Um, her voice dropped. Her voice, yeah, her voice got deeper. Editing deteriorated. Yeah, the editing is not there. Like, the filming is not there. Uh, she looks out of it. Um, and, you know, fans being fans and people, you know, you spend a lot of time watching these YouTubers so you feel like you know them. Uh, they started noticing, um, like, she has bruises on her arms. She looks off to the side a lot, like if somebody's standing behind the camera. A gun um, in the background. Yeah, there was a gun in the background in one of her videos. Um, slurred speech. That. Yeah, she has a lot of slurred speech. She continuously repeats the same thing over and over again in, in, in her videos. Her she hands. She blinks a lot. Her ha- yeah, she blinks a lot, she, but she's always looks scared and off camera. Uh, her hand movements are different. Like y- you can go to her YouTube channel and uh, see the complete difference. Like it's like literally go back eight months, see a video of her, and it's completely different as to what it is now. Uh, and so that's the basic drama. So people, people, well, the drama around it is, uh, well, not just drama, but just the concern for her has been that um, in her latest video, she looks pretty beaten up, like on her arms. Like it looks like somebody's grabbed her arms um, pretty hard because she's so bruised. And she just looks really out of it. And there's somebody behind the camera pointing to her and telling her where to stand, which Honestly, when I first saw that, I was like, it's just somebody helping her out in the video. But people were like, no, it's this. She's, she's kidnapped. So they thought like her fans think she was or thought she was kidnapped or held up against her will to be doing videos or something along those lines. Like she's being forced to do this or uh, it's a it's a like a abusive relationship, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that's basically what's been going on. And uh, also her tweets have not been very forthcoming with if she's OK or, or not. Like there's people that are tweeting at her they're like, hey, uh, Marina, are you OK? If you're not OK, like this tweet and then she'll like the tweet. So people are like, OK, so are you not OK? Like what's going on? Um, she's uh, she's yeah, she's a little out of it. And uh, and then all of her. Yeah, nobody's getting any answers. Um, her last tweet last night, which made everybody really concerned, was uh, let me see if I can find it here on the uh, on her Twitter feed. It was uh, meet me Ben Bethnal Green at six thirty a.m. If you would like to join partying with me at that event, bring a friend so you don't get lost. And uh, then she put up the information and uh, it, it was just it's just weird because why would you go up <laughs> to a place at 630 in the morning for a meetup? And then on top of that, it was apparently Beth Bethnal Green is not a very safe place to be in in the UK. I don't know where it is. Um, so people were like, what? And then she went to sleep and she didn't answer anything after that. Um, like at all. And uh, so that was a little weird. And so it and people have just been kind of concerned and trying to reach out to her. But she's not really answering things. And like even in her live stream in the morning, which I saw it, she was like avoiding questions <laughs> like and with Philip DeFranco. Uh, oh, yeah. And with Philip DeFranco, she really didn't answer much. Mm-hmm. Like he just posted another. I was waiting for him to post the second video because he got finally in contact with her to Skype because um, he I, I love Philip DeFranco. I watch him a lot. Um, he's a great YouTuber and person, human being, I should say. And uh, he posted a video like two like two days ago talking about it. And uh, it brought a lot of attention. And then now it's like really out of control. And people are posting that she died yesterday. There was one. <laughs> people were like, oh, she's totally dead. She was found in Bethnal Green at 6.30 a.m. Yeah. Then there's like. Uh, people photoshopping help me written everywhere oh yeah that's the other thing like in her videos her fans say that she says help me or help which is really odd already which is like it's kind of creepy it was it's a little creepy um and then so yeah like people were just the, the trolls were out and about uh making this even worse uh than it needed to be and uh so yeah uh i forgot what i was gonna say i that. mean okay so I'm going to chime in on this. I think that this girl, from the videos I saw from pre... They were never really that great quality. She was always kind of weird. I'm sorry. She just kind of is a little weird, a little different, a little awkward. Um, But I definitely feel like she's on drugs. She's on drugs. 
um, probably like Molly or something. Maybe she has a new boyfriend, and you know that's what they do. Like she just started drugs, and Does she's drugs like living a new life. Well, with we're this alleging. Guy. We're we're not. Yeah. We're not yeah, saying I'm that thinking. she is. <laughs> okay, but in, in your theory, do does the drugs explain all of her uh, bruises on her arms and her legs, actually? Maybe. I mean, she it, could be, maybe they can be having, like, because when you'd like to touch and feel a lot when you're on those drugs, like, I've never done it, but I have, you know, seen a lot of people on it. We live in Miami. It's a drug culture so, yeah, area. People, We've seen a lot of people on a lot of shit. Like, with her new boyfriend, he looks, like, older than her, a lot older than her. So, I don't know, maybe... Was there a photo? She looks very, very frail. He's in her videos, too. Mm-hmm. She looks extremely frail. So, like, I believe that she does bruise easily, and I don't know. Like, maybe she's getting abused, perhaps. But I feel like that's part of their relationship, in a way. Like, she's aware that she is. Uh, I don't think she's been kidnapped or anything. I think she is aware that she's getting more viewership. I think this is all kind of a little... I mean, she has, like, what, over a million well past a million followers yeah, now. Yeah, I, I, when, when this all first kind of broke, I was like, oh, like, what, what's this? So I checked it out. I did some research. It looked really weird. She looks like she's on something, like either medication for... Her eyes are dilated. Yeah, she's, she's on a lot, something. Her hand gestures, just a lot of shit. She looks, she clearly, to me... Is off. There's something... Uh, yeah. There's something off there. Like and drug... Re- she's on Yeah, drugs, and uh, sure. she... Yeah, she um she's on some and uh or it looks like she's on something. I can't say she is for sure because I'm she's blinking quite a lot. Yeah. Um and I don't know, it's just it's so weird how she uh, I forgot what I was going to say, but um wow. Uh there's a, I've just been I've just been looking at this girl for a whole 36 hours, guys, or two or 24 hours. You're taking on some of her personality. Uh yeah, she's uh it's a little little much she it's it's let me get my words back to me okay so yeah so she did uh, a you now in the morning like i said and in it she said her the way she explained her bruises was like brought more questions than answers like she was just well, like I mean, oh i got bruised because something really really bad happened but i'm not gonna tell you what it was that happened in the in the but it's really bad guys but that's why i got bruised i'm not gonna tell you it's personal so it's like that was like but wait what <laughs> like in the interview with uh frank philip defranco philip defranco uh-huh um she said that she went into the forest and she had a fall yeah which was already very odd that's like mm-hmm. i got hit but the, the door hit me in the eye <laughs> yeah it's one of those um and yeah, she had the interview with Philip DeFranco and that didn't answer any questions. And he was trying to be kind of sensitive to her situation where he he kind of was like, are you on something? It would be OK if you are and you just let people know what you're dealing with. And she's like, I've never been on drugs. I wouldn't do that to my followers. She and, repeats herself quite a and, bit. Though. Yeah, she repeats herself like crazy. And the thing is, like all of her friends, like people that have been close to her have come out and said that she's on stuff a lot of the time like she's a known drug addict um but it's just it's so bizarre and okay what i was gonna now remember what i was gonna say initially was at first i did all the research Mm -hmm. and i looked into her old videos and stuff and then i was i looked at her social blade because i was like there has to be something here because there's big youtubers calling her out and you know i was a little curious and at the time she had gone up to about she had gone up when I checked, like two hundred thousand, I believe, subscribers, and that's the point where I was like, "This is this is this is a you know well thought out, well planned sort of social thing to get her more subscribers." She started out with a little under six hundred thousand. She's now close to or at I have to check her YouTube channel, uh, one point two mil. Uh, all of her videos have gone up significantly in views um it's it's a little insane um well i mean but at the same they've all gone up because people want to check out what is happening right it's it's just it's weird yeah she's over 1.2 mil at this point and it's um like her her latest video has almost 10 million views um it's gone up 3 million since we've been in this office (laughs) which is a couple hours ago um 
yeah, it's just a little crazy. The, the everything that's going on. So do you think it's a and I? The thing is, like at first when I saw the two hundred thousand thing, I was like, it's totally like she's making the subject of views. And then I was like, when you think about it, like I said, I'm like, it's been nine months since this has been going on. Eight months since this has been like, since you can see her decline decline in the way that she is. So I don't know if it's an elaborate ruse that for eight months that she just wanted people to figure out now so that she can get like, I, that's what I'm not understanding. It's too calculated. I mean, it would be too calculated as if now that she has 3.2, what is it? 1.2 million? 1.2. Um. Uh, people following her if she goes back to what she was doing before the rapid decline because eight months is, is quite a rapid i mean decline. she was already for the past like i don't know how many fucking months but like for a while now she's been making clickbaity videos like oh i got kidnapped oh my scary story i almost got yeah but when you go to those stories they're not it's just her repeating the same sentence over and over again in yeah, different but ways it cl- clickbait? but she's doing uh, clickbait videos yeah yeah, basically. Yeah, so she's been trying to get viewers that way. So is that after her decline or before? Before, way before. Ooh. No, after. Mm. Around the um, let me see her her the names of her. Check because like if my first time. Um, my first time. Well, she's like a beauty vlogger, so. Is she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but she was like, oh, how is I that did? why we? They got- were very shitty quality. Like, oh, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna do my eye shadow, and right now I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and um, it's gonna be really shitty light right now. But you don't. You, okay, okay. Here I am in the bathroom, and I'm going. To well, yeah, she has the the generic caps lock, <laughs> caps lock titles, but they're not. They're, I don't know. It's different. No, but what I'm asking is if. The clickbait happened before or before. after her decline? It, or like a little bit more or like... No, it's been before. before. It's both. It's She's both. been wanting it. She's been trying to find ways. Well, she but was already pretty successful with 600,000, really you know? She's kind of dumb, though. I don't think she, she's that smart to be like, let me do a you don't think she, You don't think someone is smart enough to plan an elaborate ruse? Not like this. Not like... I think we understand. Oh no, this people. has been going on for she's been doing clickbaity titles for like years. This, I'm back I'm already backtracked three years and it's all clickbaity titles. So she's she, it wasn't new. She, I mean she had six hundred thousand subscribers, so you can't Then you can't. why do we assume that this I mean I'm sure she does have an issue, but why don't we think that this is something more than just what the media is making it to be? Oh no no. I think the reason why people are like, no, it's for sure just for views is because she came out in an article or somebody in her name came out in an article saying that it's making her channel better. So that's why people took that and ran. But And she also, in the live stream that I saw, one of them, she said that this is a publicity stunt by her fans because her fans are the ones that are doing this. She isn't doing it. So... That's leading people to be like, so you did it for views? You pretended to be crazy? But I honestly, like, I mean, the way that she's moving and the slow decline into what, into how she's that. doing it, I, on, I honestly feel like she's going through some mental things. I think she's coping and, with drugs, though. And, and it may be the drugs that she's taking to combat her mental things. Uh, she's blinking a lot. She repeats herself four and five times in a... a a video more than that probably i didn't watch a full one um she her her actual mannerisms have changed entirely but they also don't match her speech pattern like there there's no reason why in the middle of a sentence she should be making a heart with her hands when she was talking to philip defranco yeah there's something off i think there's something imbalanced i think i think it's probably uh, multiple things and also i'm like if that's acting then that's pretty dang good acting well, I mean, she just has to do it while she's on camera. She no, but she does silly. it subtly the way that she does. I mean, I think it's pretty good. I think, she looks, I think she just looks kind of like a young, impressionable girl, new boyfriend, um, new I drugs. I want to see this boyfriend. Um, she probably has uh, dependency issues. She probably has 
she's starting off new drugs and just experimenting a little bit and she is being all documented yeah she just looks, which is the issue with she always looked kind of dumb to me i'm sorry so i think she's sorry she doesn't look like a smart girl yeah there's there's just something a little off and the reason why we're bringing it up is i don't know i feel like i've seen a lot i mean if it is an abusive relationship I don't know. Like Venus Angelic. Like she, I stopped following her. I know I saw that. Uh, I saw Venus Angelic's shit and I stopped following her because she, uh, things were getting weird between her and her mom and like she had like shut down her channel for a while. That's, that to me was more extreme because it was actually real. Like her mom was writing shit about her and like they're writing shit about each other and like YouTube got involved. It was, that was like more, a little bit more intense. This just seems something that was like, um. How old did you say she was? She's 19. How old is he? He looks like he's 30. Yeah, like, uh-huh. I feel like sometimes, like, when something circulates around Twitter or YouTube, um, kids tend to take it. It's a lot of kids because she's young and stuff, so she appeals. Like, kids take it a little seriously, and they like a little bit of um, uh, of a scandal and drama. Mm-hmm. So this Yeah. Is- I feel like it was more of her, like, younger fans that were... Yeah, I feel like it's uh, it was a little yeah. <laughs> I feel like it was just like her younger fans they were just like really panicking. Mm-hmm. Though, to be fair, because again, totally when you like watch people all the time, she does. the what? To be fair, she does look normal in that photo. It's a she, photo. <laughs> okay, but zoom in on her arms, no bruises. Zoom in on her face, she has makeup on. She looks like she did before the d- the rapid decline. Yeah. I mean, I Although don't know. Her boyfriend looks like he's a thirty-year-old man, a serial killer. Yeah, he's a little, he's a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna give you nightmares. Oh lord. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I feel like nowadays, I don't know if it's just social media or yeah. if it's just that we're a different breed of lady or something. Social media, one hundred percent. But, but we're. I don't know. I feel like I'm seeing more abusive relationships popping up oh, everywhere, right. and it's. Oh no, that's something that's happened for all of time. Yeah, so but it's. But it I'm saying prevalent. it. I'm saying like. I think we're more. Maybe aware we're, of it. we're more aware of it. And we're more not not willing to take the shit about it or something. And also, we're older, so. We're we're mm-hmm. inherently more aware of what's happening mm-hmm. around us. True. 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 I, but I've never been in an abusive relationship, so like, <laughs> thank God. I was for a hot minute. Mm. Well, why why do people let this happen? I don't know. That's a whole nother. Topic what do you mean, let this happen? Discussion. Yeah, we'll, it we'll happens. Talk, yeah, we'll talk about it. I guess in another video, because um, we've all either dealt or had to deal with somebody in a in some sort of relationship like that. So maybe we'll talk about it in another another time. But um, for this girl, I don't know. I just I feel really bad for her. I don't know. Um, well, not anymore because she has so many new subscribers, but, and I, I feel like was, that was, I don't know. I, I just, I can't feel that it's that targeted. I don't think somebody would be that heartless to make it 100% about views and fake it for nine months, eight, nine months. You know what I mean? It lo- it, it seriously looks like she just went a little, little bit, you know. Off. I think I think I think she had an off day, and it's a, an off eight months is what that is. I'm no. sorry. There's that one video called Near Death Experience um, that she has, and it's kind of like the halfway point of her oh, insanity, and it is just her talking about her special dark place that she visits when she closes her eyes, and it's her own little planet, and then she starts crying midway through, but she never actually tells you. Her experience, she just talks about how much pain she's in. I don't know. It was just fucking weird. Um, I Maybe she's a schizo. That's what everybody's saying, is that she's on medication for that, and that's probably why she's like that. Um, but if she is, I mean, that sucks that this is the way the internet <laughs> finds out. Um, I feel really... I think she just needs to deal with things on her own and kind of step away from yeah. media for a little bit. Maybe. Probably. That might be good. Yeah, because I, I, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's doing her any good to continue to be in the quote-unquote public eye. 
I mean, it is doing her some good. (laughs) Money. Yes, but it's not good for her mental health. Mental health. Maybe you know what? Maybe she. Maybe what's going on with her is that she's going through a lot of shit, and maybe the only thing that she has to keep her feeling normal is you. I mean, that now that's me super speculating shit, but I I mean, if the videos that you're putting out make you look like you are she thinks she looks great in the video she doesn't think there's anything wrong with that last video she says that in the interview with philip defranco he's like do you know that your last video was a little bit whatever and she's like i think it's fine there's nothing off so that's it that's that last video is not even in keeping with the style of her channel i exactly that's why it's like it's a little weird i don't know and a lot of the footage that that you see is her wearing something from months ago when she's happy with friends it's not from like the same week i don't know it's just a little off and i feel really bad for her i think she needs to step away a little bit and deal with her shit if there's anything going on if not then this is one of the fucking most horrible pranks that you can pull on the internet which is faking an abusive relationship for views i, mean, I feel like that's a whole new level of fucking is low she, is she faking an abusive relationship we don't know because she doesn't fucking answer anything ha! so technically you will never know i don't remember why that's for that. her to figure out <laughs> i guess i don't know i don't know what else to say yeah, you guys she, have anything else she to say you can't be told that she's faking anything until she admits one way or the other if she understands that her behavior is erratic right and as somebody who's had friends that have been erratic um when you tell them that they're being erratic they They usually fucking like they don't teeth out they're like what the fuck are you talking about it's like well you're like totally normal like you know you you did this just you know don't fucking tell me that's one of those I've had that happen on so many occasions. So. Can do that more often? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I That's where I'm going to leave that one. It's kind of a little sad note to leave that well, there. No, I but leave it on a sad note. Huh? Oh, I thought you meant the podcast. I'm sorry. What? Nothing. Okay. Well, um, we're going to break into uh, that special time. Speaking of sad note. Because it's our Thirsty Thursday. So Thirsty Thursday is the day of the week. Uh, the segment, shall I say, in which we pick who we're thirsty for, starting with you, Christina. Go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, not starting with me. Not starting with me but, <laughs> but Anthony would like to give a shout out to Emma Watson. I'm not crazy. It's Emma Watson. Yeah. I'm going to check the text messages it's real Emma quick. Watson. Is it? Yeah, it's Emma Watson. All right, he'd like to give a shout-out to Emma Watson. Mm-hmm. He's been dreaming about you. you so good, girl. you so good. Yeah. Cool. Someone else. Um, Go, Alec. You're thirsty. You're always thirsty. Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> girl, don't even. Um, I guess I'm going to say Chris Pratt because I saw him in the Guardians of the Galaxy panel and he was looking mighty delish nutrish so i'm gonna go with chris pratty pratt everyone's boyfriend i'm gonna go with benedict cumberbatch because he was just so adorable during comic-con and like i saw a picture of him and brie larson and he was like congratulating her on all of her success and stuff and he's just so cute and i would marry him but he's married and he has a baby, I think. And I'm going to go with our newest crown princess of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Brie Larson. She's not the crown princess. She is currently the crown princess, goddammit. She just got crowned. Okay. Leave her alone. She's not the crown princess. Fuck you, Ellie. <laughs> and She's that could- obviously not the actual crown <laughs> princess. I'm not saying that. And that could- She's the newest. And that She's the newest cast member of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Is that better for you? Who does that honor belong to? Brie Larson. Me. Oh. Me. What? Oh, okay. You're th- what? <laughs> B. <laughs> but, yeah. All right, so does that wrap up 
That was a quick rap, one. Rap, rap, rap. And that uh, we were pretty prepared for that Thursday, yeah. Thursday, considering we weren't prepared <laughs> at all for well, it. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't pass up for Can't pass up. Benedict no. Even with red hair. <laughs> so that brings us to the internet has for him. I'm a Benedict. Uh, it's have you I'm seen I'm a cumber bitch. Oh my God! No. Cumber snatch. No. Oh Lord. Refuse. You know any what? Of this. I'm going. To, I'm going to take back my answer. Chris Pratt. Do not. I'm going to give you Chris Pine. Oh, um, okay. Star Trek. Oh, I didn't watch that booty. I see you. I see you, Chris Pine, playing a a delicious Kirk. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> what oh, do you mean? Well, ugh. I don't like him. You anymore. ugh. No, Benedict Cumberbatch is very, very talented. And he is very, very. Click on the link below if you think <laughs> that Benedict Cumberbatch is a hottie. Nobody's gonna but do. click on it. Don't delay. He's talented and he's smart and he's British. He got an accent. Mm. We do. We have viewer questions. But unfortunately, we talk so much about Comic Con. We're going to keep it till the next one. Yeah, we're going to keep it to the next one and probably answer two in the next one. So, Damn. Two? Two. Damn. Uh, Yeah. It's pretty dang exciting if I do say so myself. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I want to find more of his No. You can tell me after. Fine. (laughs) All right, guys. So, I think that concludes our podcast. Uh, If you want to... If you like the podcast, please l- click the link below. <laughs> uh, if you guys enjoyed the podcast, please let us know. With Leave us a review on iTunes or Stitcher or SoundCloud or something. Just leave us something. We love you. Uh, we see you growing over there on Stitcher. Hi. Um. <laughs> Again, if you want to PayPal us your money or do anything. You <laughs> no, know. Don't, don't listen to her. Um. But if you want to fo- if you want to follow us on Twitter or Facebook, it's at Tastefully Weird. Why did my voice just do or that? YouTube, please follow us. Yes, yeah, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, and I think that's. Uh, oh yeah, no. If you need some advice, oh. or if you want to send in a question uh, that's lo- a little longer than 140 characters, you can go ahead and send that to asktastefully at gmail.com. Uh, and we will go ahead and answer your advice there. We want to start getting some more advice, guys. So do it. Do it. Uh, and also, if you're going to be sending us a question that is 140 characters long, make sure to use the hashtag asks tastefully on all of the different social medias. Doesn't that make it less than 140 characters long? You shut up. <laughs> and uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, this was Ellie. Christina. And we're gonna go now. Bye! Bye. Bye.